Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our single player world. Oh man, I'm, I'm ready for this episode. It's got, I've got something a little bit weird and this could be something that's going to turn out horrible. It's going to be something that turns out great. But we're starting off with the great news. I have found a hidden shulker box right here. <laughs> uh, now it's a matter of me finding some of my other ones where I've left them in, in really dumb places. But yeah, this one's actually kind of useful for us today because I'm going to get into something which I'm not too sure. You know what, it's probably been done before, but I think it's quite an original idea in any case. And this could be either a massive failure or it could be a great success. So uh, we are going to take the risk. Really? I've got to go back and get that shulker box. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed the shulker box. Uh, but yeah, this could be a great success because if we do get this right, uh, we can... Say we've got it right. <laughs> so this tree over here, we started in the last episode, and the reason why I'm referring to this tree right now is because we are going to make it into an apple tree. And I know what you're saying. Jancy, if you're going to be using item frames, that's not going to be a proper apple tree. And uh, I think you, you can almost figure out, if you had a look at what I've got on me, you might be able to figure out what my plan is, at least. Uh, and hopefully it works. In fact, I need, I need one more combination of things, which is on the mainland over here. And then we are pretty much ready to give this a try. Just down here. Okay, maybe not down here. Okay, it turns out my redstone box is right here. <laughs> oh man, why, why did I do that to myself? Alright, we'll get rid of that, get rid of that, and that. We don't need them, but we do need one or two of those, and a few of those there, and then we should be ready to go. So yes, we are going to be using these uh, armor stands, which I've got in my inventory here, to try and make some apple-looking things coming out of this tree. Hopefully we can get this to look somewhat like apples. So let's go back here and see what we would, where we'd want to see it. Probably around there, that'll be a good spot. Around here somewhere. So the trick to this is, by the way, if you haven't seen me mess around with armor stands before, I don't do it too often, uh, but I think they are really, really useful for some really cool things. So we'll first of all boost ourselves up with two of these and then we'll put one of these because the the trick to this is you have to have them at an uneven number so in fact we uh, at an even number so, uh, no at an odd an odd slab if you get what i mean so we need the slab to be here can i get out of here yeah i can and then one like that so what i've done is now i can put in on this armor stand i can put in a helmet a red helmet put it on here hopefully this is backwards Okay, I've got to change this armor stand around here, and then we'll we'll get out again. There we go. And I want this armor stand to be facing this direction here. All right, so then I get that helmet in there, and it's quite red. So I think that'll actually look pretty good. I think we should just be able to see them. The one downfall of this idea, though, and uh, I, I do understand it is a problem, is the fact that we can only put them upwards. We can't, we can't put these on the bottom of the things because you can't flip armor stands upside down. Which is a little bit annoying, but of course we can't do anything about it. And not only that, it's I think it'll work regardless of what, what happens. So we'll get that, get that. And I've, I've messed around in a creative world if you're wondering why I, I knew that we're going to need glass. I actually forgot that stairs, well not stairs, sorry, uh, leaves. How, how did I say stairs? Uh, leaves actually can't be pushed by pistons. They break immediately and I actually don't know why I forgot that. So there we go. Look at that. So now we can walk through this. It's not going to be a, a giant hole in the middle. And there's our first apple. And I want to just get a few of these around. And I'm not going to make too many. I think it'll be alright to just have a few. And I'm also going to get a few jungle leaves in here. I think that will really work. So let's give another one a try. And while I'm giving this a try, I actually will let you guys know... Oh, I thought I just missed that. <laughs> yeah, while I'm giving this a try, I'll let you guys know that the texture pack with that wheat, that potato texture, and our water texture... And I have also got our sky texture. So this sky texture, I will not take any credit for. But what I have tried to do is um, get permission to use it. And what I realized is that we already have permission to use it. So basically the way that, because I, of course, did not make that. I, did, I didn't want to use someone else's stuff that I didn't make and uh, make, it, uh, make it something that I have, um, I have done, if you understand what I mean. So I'm not going to take credit for something like that. But what the current like license for it is is that anyone can use it so basically anyone can use this sky pack and adapt it into my texture pack which is the thing i've just done and hopefully everything is good because i haven't actually put the texture pack up online yet maybe there might be something i'm 
I'm overlooking, but currently it looks like we'll have this out by the time I put this video out. So if you guys want to, I know a lot of you guys do want to, <laughs> want to get it. So if you want it, there'll be a link down in the description right now. I would imagine I should have put it there. If not, remind me, remind me, please. Because of course it's easy to forget these things. And uh, yeah, we're not, we're not going to forget it. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. So we'll go in here, do another one. And I sincerely hope that these apples turn out to be a good idea because it's something, tell me if you've seen this before, because I've never thought about it until just then. I was, I was actually, this is one of those stories where you're like, it came so organically to me. I was like, I was eating an apple and I'm like, man, it'd be awesome to have an apple tree in Minecraft. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's the story. And then this pops into my head. Uh, we'll put this one. How about we put this at a bit of an angle like that there. Perfect. And I also brought some clothing of, for these things in case. Well, the issue that I thought we might run into is that the armor stand is a bit too visible from the outside, but I think we'll be all right for that. We I was going to dye them green and hopefully hide them. I'm actually feeling like the, uh, these blocks aren't actually 100% necessary, but it's always, oh man, it's always worth it to, I guess, just finish off the build properly. Get out of there. <laughs> and one more down. Beautiful. All right, so let's take a look at these and then we can get going on, well, finishing off this tree. So just step back. Yeah, a few little apples here and there. If anyone has a cool idea for getting them onto the sides of the tree, that will be awesome, an awesome thing to know. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know any way of doing it. The only way I can think of, actually, let me, let me just try this quickly. There's the idea. I was planning on putting this in the side here, but you can't really see it too much. I did dress the armor stand up, by the way, in an, like, in armor armor so the whole thing is completely dressed up i've also had another cool idea to do with apples in fact i've uh we'll have a look into this in the future kind of a magical thing going on and i'm sure i'll probably get this in the comments i, I hope i get this as a suggestion it'll be it seems pretty obvious to me to do but uh, it's not really obvious if you're not thinking the way i'm thinking right now so i'll be interested to see if anyone does come up with a suggestion like this in the comment section which by the way I, um, I know I do say this quite often, but I really do mean it. Uh, thank you so much for everyone being so supportive recently. It's been really, really awesome, specifically in the comment section and on stream and everything. It's just really, really awesome to see so many people so enthusiastic. It's just, I, 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 I am blown away. <laughs> it's just really cool. So thank you very much for that, by the way, guys. So what I want to do now is just put this one in and see if this has got a good angle. Please tell me this has got a good angle. Yeah, that's it. So we just need a few more little red pieces. I wish they were a little bit more red. Maybe if I can try out just changing this color a bit. So a bit of pink, then go back to red. What happens then? Do we get red? We go to pink. And back to red. Does that make a... Still a bit too... No, that could be all right. It's still going to be quite dull, I guess. So that's nine, nine, four threes, and then this one's got a different color. Very similar colors. Okay, didn't really help us too much. So yeah, I'll put in a few more of these, and then I've got a plan for a, a little fountain that we're going to be building on that side. All right, we're back, and I've done a bunch of stuff on that tree. I'll show you guys a little bit later in the episode, hopefully, what has happened. So what I'm doing now is we are going to be building our very first fountain down here. I thought, you know what, what can we add in this area? And of course, a fountain is a great idea, and <laughs> because I didn't want to put anything else out there, I think a fountain will go pretty well. Now, another thing, we've got a suggestion to work in here. I ended up doing a path in this way. Well, actually the suggestion uh, was from a person in our comments called John Roundtree. Thank you very much for your suggestion, John. It was such an awesome story you got around this. If anyone wants to check out that, just go check in the comments of our last video and you can check everything going on with that. I definitely will be using that idea in our next village or city or town build because it's a, a pretty cool idea. But what we are doing is we're going to adapt this idea. If you guys want to check it out, I'm not going to go into any more detail. Just check it out in the comments of the last video. Uh, I decided, because the idea went around the fact of having a big armory for a potential militia or probably a little army to be able to get uh, get equipped and ready to, to fight. And I thought this tied in so well with what everything was. You got the horses, you got the blacksmith, you got everything around here, uh, including potential housing for them, uh, just to get all this stuff, which was part of the idea. And that was, that was just so great. It just tied in. Coincidentally, so great, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to be putting in armor stands all along here, and probably shields, swords, everything we need 
to be able to to go into the offensive if ever <laughs> if ever the city needed it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get into this little bit of a build here with. I'm just realizing that I've, I probably should have swapped these around with those. Uh, but yeah, this little bit of a build of a fountain. And fountains are one of those things that I always think are easy before I do them. And then they just become such a difficult thing. Did I just do the same thing again? I did. I was just going for the same thing again. Maybe we'll leave these these lights out for now. We'll just fill it in with these. And the reason I'm using Prismarine is it looks really, really good when it's all, uh, all bright underneath. So we'll take those. Maybe do something like this, this, this. My thought is what I well, what I want this area to look like is I want oh it's going night time I want there to be four streams pouring out of a central pillar if that makes sense so I will show you what it I'll show you what it is let's just quickly stop these mobs from getting out there we go and yeah what I wanted to do is I wanted to have these uh, oh d d d d d yeah yeah we what we want is we want this to have these over here well this is my idea to have these things separating at the top here let me let me just do it let me do it in there in there in there and there and i'm hoping that these colors won't be too off-putting because the gray against the blue currently looks a little bit strange hopefully it's not too bad all right then we will go up maybe some stairs maybe if we do the stair over here stair over there and a stair over there in fact, I feel like we have to go one block higher. Let's do the stairs one higher. Over here. Come on, get it. Get in there. There we go. Got that stair there. Then we'll put in another one over here. And I think this is going to turn out all right. I haven't actually tested this idea out just yet. But if you remember the last fountain, which was done quite a while ago, it just it didn't turn out quite the way we wanted it. Oh, I know what we can do in here. Put one of these in here. Solves our lighting issue. There and there. Great. Then I'm thinking andesite, polished andesite again. Let's just get up here. Polished, 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 and there. And I'm probably going to put something in here. I think this will still allow light through. And then I wanted these to be on the corners, which we can't jump up on, of course. There, and get rid of that. Then there, 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 and there. This is my thought, and I think this will work now looking at it. So we'll put in one of these here. Break it. And we'll fill up the bottom. I hope this looks somewhere close to what I wanted it to look. And I'm not too sure what we're going to do on the top here. But I just, I didn't want to go for the plain normal fan that we do with one thing coming over the top. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I don't want to have these blocks here though. I've just, I've realized that now. So maybe if we put in a mossy over here. And we'll put in a few just normal, normal cobblestone walls. We don't want to go too crazy with the mossy cobblestone as well because... That just makes it a look a little bit too manufactured. Because there's no way we're going to have to have that much mossy around. And, yeah, you know what? I'm happy with that. I don't want it to be a big grand fountain. And I think that's exactly... It's, it didn't doesn't look anything like what I expected it. But it, it definitely fulfills the criteria I had for one. So we'll put these in here. Break. Break. And we'll just fill this up with real water. Now we're getting into the armory, and I'm thinking that I'm going to be doing what I've done here with these iron bars because I don't really use iron bars, so I want to I want to get them into some builds at least. And I think this is a build where they are appropriate, so we'll do these here. I think that's how I did it. That's how I did it, and then we'll go up here. And the reason I'm doing these is as if they locked away, uh, but I don't want to I don't want to make them all iron bars because of course, as we found out two episodes ago, iron bars don't connect very nicely to iron doors, which is kind of a, a pity because I feel like they should. <laughs> I feel like they'd work very well if they did. So there we go. Is that right? Is that what we got there? No, we've got one gone there. That one's that one's not there. And then this goes over the top. And I do realize I'm going to have a big mob spawning system up here. I'm going to have to fix that up before I forget. But now it's time to get in our armor stands. And I've done a bunch of armor stands. Actually, have a look at this. All right, this is <laughs> this is the most armor stands I've ever done in here. Where are they? There. So we've got now what? three five full stacks and nine plus a bunch that I've used in the trees I hope they don't cause us to get too laggy but I don't know I don't even know if they will make us laggy at all then also I wanted these that's why I was coming here I knew I had some other plan over there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decorate this room just so that it doesn't look too boring in fact you know what maybe we can get rid of this let's just test out some some aesthetic things there there and there 
Yeah, that's much better. Just a little bit too stony over there, so now when we get rid of this, it is hopefully better. For sure, for sure. Then also over here, I'm thinking, now that I'm looking at it, this could be a nice little spot to put in another light. We can put in another redstone lamp over there. Coming out the top there. And that will work pretty damn good, I think. And now, my other part, like the other plan I've got, requires the armor stands. So we've got our armor stands, which are going to go along this side. And I've got some other armor stands, which I'm going to test out something I saw a few weeks ago. And I can't remember where I saw it, but it's a really, really cool idea. And I think it'll suit this so well. Alright guys, we are back. I have gone ahead and I've done, obviously we did this, uh, but I've put in the stuff over here and I've done a few changes to the roof and all of that stuff. You can see there's quite a bit of change in here. And we've got this side for our archers, that side I'm guessing for some of the more uh, fighting guys on the front line We're using melee and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, these guys are our archers, they've still got swords on them. And on this side over here, I've done a little trick, which, remember I was talking about this trick, and I realized where I saw it, I saw it from Cubfan. And what this is, is this is an armor stand, and we'll, we'll do it over here for you to see. So, because if I put in, let's just say, one of these, over here, these shields, that's a bit annoying, that goes straight there, if I put a shield in there, it looks a little bit, yeah, very, very derpy. So we'll, we'll get that shield off, and if I put a shield on here, I can't actually click it on here. You see that? I can't click it on there. However, in a dispenser, I've put this the wrong direction. <laughs> Alright, we'll do this again. We'll put this here, put this in here, and then we'll do it. There we go. And that would mean that I would have to... Did I just put it this way and this way? Is that right? Not like that. I've used so many armor stands this episode, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So we'll, we'll put that in there. Yep. Click it on. And the last one. Click it on. And then we can get rid of these dispensers here. I just thought I would let you know how I've done this. And if anyone's got a design that they think would represent the city on these shields in a banner, of course, let me know. If you want to send it to me on Twitter, I'll definitely see it there. And we can put it in and use it on this one here. Now, one issue we do have with these, and I'll show you the issue, which is a fairly simple way of getting oh, one, one away. It's a fairly simple way to, to fix this. Um, there... Where will the third one be? Right over here, I think. Yes. Perfect. Uh, is if we use one of these, I'll show you. I've got to force some blocks in because, of course, we we don't want this to look like a... Uh, we don't want this to look like an open piece where this armor stand is. But if we use a full block, this is a problem right here. See how it, it makes it think it's in a shadow? Which I've, I guess it is. It's stuck in a block. So it goes dark, but I've got a way around that. I'm just going to sleep because I don't want to get uh, surprised by anything. And then we'll go back to it. But there's a trick using stairs because stairs don't actually, they, they let light through, I guess. Well, they don't really, but they, they're transparent. And that's, that's the important part of it. So if we get rid of this block, we put in these over here. We'll put in the stair. Right here. There, push it down. Put in another one over here. Push it down, and then we can put in one of these, and get rid of that. There. Great. So now, if we go down here, I can show you that that armor stand is now no longer in shadow, and it's all looking good. So that's looking great. And also, by the way, I have completed this path here. I think this is going to look really good. I'm planning on doing this curve up to here, so it's going to curve up, come around this way, and connect up to this one here. However, on this side here, I'm thinking we're going to have a really awesome garden looking thing. I guess a garden with some fountains and stuff like that. Small fountains, small fountains. And I've still got to finish the back end of this building, but that's this building's taken so long. And I just want to show you after this, after this next uh, the next little piece here, just how awesome this is starting to look. I'm, I'm loving that this build was outright a mistake from the beginning, and it's just turning out to be a really, really good build. Surprising, actually. Very surprising, but... I'm not complaining, of course. It's great that it has turned out well. And I can only hope that most builds that mess up in the beginning turn out as well as this one has. Uh, we'll just fill up there. And we'll do the last one. So this one here should be quick. If I don't do that. There, we'll put in one of those. And one of these. But yeah, you guys get you guys get the picture. It's a pretty simple way of doing it. And yeah, I've also misunderstood uh, armor stands. Because they are really, really useful things. Like, they are so super useful. I wish I used them more in the beginning of this series, because we could have done a lot more things with armor stands, like tricks with armor stands, 
if I'd only known about this. And by the way, with this piece over here where we can see the armor stand, this is just going to come like that. You see, we're just going to, we're going to make the ground hide that, and then we won't have any trouble. So there we go, we got the shields on the wall. Looking good. I wish we could get the armor stand at a different angle, but of course that's not a thing. Not a thing. It's horrible, but uh, that would have made the tree, apple tree look a lot nicer as well. So here, yeah, I want to show you this now. Let's let's step back and have a look at this. How good is that looking? It's just coming around so well. The white with the stone, I think it's looking really, really good. It's obviously a work in progress, but of course, this was actually meant to be a bathhouse. <laughs> and that has changed significantly. Now, I did promise I'll show you guys the apple tree. It's still going to be finished on the back end of it. It's just taken so long and we're going to need more leather. So we're going to, we're going to get to that over some time. It won't be too long though, it won't take us too long, but I think it has turned out quite well. I think it's, at least in concept, it has turned out really, really well. And it's all about the ideas. So, coming up here, you can't see it too, too much, but it slowly comes in where you can see the red coming through the tree. And of course, I would love to have them hanging off the end here. And if you guys were going to suggest uh, using dinner bone, uh, that doesn't work. I tried it in a creative world, it doesn't work. <laughs> I thought it was worth a try though. Uh, but that would be awesome if it did, because we could have apples dripping off the side here. So you can see, this side over here is not done. This side over here, however, is close enough. I want to add in a few more. I'm just going to add them in like crazy. And in fact, I've, I've also gone through another level of putting these things in. So I've got to have to put the uh, armor on there because of course you need the armor to make it look a little bit more hidden. And also I'm going to have to, well, I've been pushing them into corners. So you can see this one's sticking out slightly just to try and get them a little bit off center so that they're not directly in the middle of the block. like. Most of these are, so they just they just started to look like a little bit too square and boxy. So I, I kind of hope that that was the thing. Also, another thing, another thing. We've got this mountain, and I think I did mention it. Uh, but in the next episode, I'm thinking we're going to come up to the top of here and add in a bit of a bit of snow and ice and all that stuff because that is what I want this mountain to have. I want this mountain to be a snow mountain. Well, I have been suggested for a volcano a few times actually. But the reason I'm not doing a volcano is purely because I want the snow. <laughs> I, I want the snow more than I want the volcano, and I've got a plan for the snow. And by the way, this this over here is a peak that I'm very happy with. I'm happy with the way these peaks have turned out over here, over here. Maybe not when I've destroyed it, but yeah, I think this mountain is going to be really, really awesome when it's done. But yeah, I think this will be the end of the episode, guys. I thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you thought that these ideas were a little bit interesting at least. At the very least, I, uh, I decided I would give it a go and see how it goes. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.